Hey guys, Peyton Snape back here again for another video for you guys today. This is my November 23rd DVD and Blu-ray update. And also, this is my um, Black Friday haul 2017 video. So, um, I got 12 movies here. Um, 11 Blu-rays and 1 DVD. Um, but I'm going to be showing you guys later on in the video what the Black Friday haul is. Um, what I got for Black Friday this year. Um, <clears throat> and um, But first, I'm going to be showing you guys... Um, the movies for the regular DVD and Blu-ray update, you know, the ones meaning, meaning the ones I have that I did not get for Black Friday or like Cyber Monday or whatever you call that. All right, so let's get started, shall we? So, um, first one I got here is um the Patrick remake here on Blu-ray. Got the set Dollar General for four ninety five, and and if you guys didn't know, this is actually a remake, and I always really love remakes, but this one I. I don't know. It was, it was okay. Um, I, I had never seen the original one, so I don't know if that's any good. But I did watch the trailer for the original, though, and it, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty interesting. But um, if you guys don't know what, um, what this is about, it's about um, this nurse who ends up. Um, I think she ends up working at this um, this hospital, and you know, there's this patient who was like um, paralyzed from head to toe. Um, and his name's Patrick, and basically he can't talk. He can't, he basically, you know, he can't take care of himself because, you know, he's paralyzed, obviously. So, and, you know, and he's basically, you know, kind of like, in a way, talking to the nurse. And, you know, and and he's, she's basically the only one that he's talking to. Like, um, if he spits one, one time, it means yes. Twice means no. And... I know, and he starts doing, like, this shit, like, um, making the computer type by itself, you know, like, saying, so that he could say, like, a full sentence, and it's, and what it's turning out to be, it's like, um, the Patrick character, he's, like, like, really, like, obsessed with the nurse, and, you know, because, you know, Patrick is, like, saying stuff like, the doctor is doing, or, um, the scientist is, like, doing bad things to me, help me, help me, and all that stuff, but, you know, I mean, this was okay. I mean, I, I, I would highly hope that the original one's a lot better. But this, I don't know. It was okay. It's not really a great remake or anything, but it was all right. All right. The next one I got was um, Misery here on Blu-ray. It's it's kind of funny too because I was actually gonna, gonna get this on Amazon next, but I guess there's no reason to now. But I got this, also got this on um, at Dollar General for four ninety five. And as you can see right here, it says Blu-ray and DVD, but actually just includes the Blu-ray, um, Blu-ray version. Because um, I had I had the DVD copy, but um, um, the reason I, I have it in this case is because um, when I went to um, Dollar General and I found this, I shook it, and I heard something rattling there, like something was like broken, and I'm like, oh come on, please don't tell me it's that the Blu-ray is broken, and it was the only copy that they had, so. I went up to a um, cashier, and because I didn't want to open it, because you know it, it ain't the thrift store, obviously. So I didn't want to open it and have people thinking I was like trying to steal it. So um, I went up to the cashier and I was like, um, "Excuse me, I really want to buy this movie, but you know I'm hearing some rattling in there. And can you open it and see what what that rattling sound is?" And you know, and it and it turned out it wasn't the disc or the DVD. They weren't broken. It was one of these things, right? right there that's what what was what the rattling was so i ended up um switching cases um i gave the dvd copy to my mom because she liked the movie too and i also do too and by the way um this did come out to um scream and shout factory not too long ago in case you guys are interested in that but um what this movie is about it's about um james can's character um he's like this um author um he's writing a book called misery and um he ends up one one day um, getting in this terrible car accident, and Kathy Bates' character ends up saving him and taking taking her taking him to um, her house. And you know she's taking care of him, um, and you know and being so friendly and kind. And as you know, the movie goes on. Um, you you find out that you know um, Kathy Bates' character. She's like such like she's like crazy and like highly really just 
you know, obsessive with um, James Cann's character, you know, and basically keep keeping him at her house against his will, and, you know, it, but the movie ends up going crazy, but this movie is really good. I definitely check this one out if you guys haven't seen it, which I'm pretty sure just about a lot of people have seen this movie. Um, I, I did read, too, that there was a remake to this, but it was, it's not an American movie, though. It was actually a Japanese, I think, film. I forgot what it was called, but, um, I know it wasn't called Misery, because it was a Japanese movie, so, yeah, but definitely check that movie out if you haven't seen it, because it's pretty good. All right, the next one I got here is, um, Stan Helsing here on Blu-ray. Got to set the um, pawn shop for five dollars, and, and you know, and I actually really like this one. Um, this is the um ex from the executive producer of um Scary Movie. And I, when I first got this, when I first got the DVD copy, which was like around, I think it was close to be in um 2012, I saw the DVD copy at Walmart, and it's, it's just the way the cover looked. It looked pretty interesting. Um, because it. Because uh, this movie is like a parody movie, it makes fun of like, um, it rips off um, Hellraiser, t The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Child's Play, Friday the 13th, A Nightmare on Elm Street, and Halloween. It was like one of those kind of like spoof movies, and it kind of did look interesting, and I did get it, so. And I ended up really liking this one, actually. Um, but what this is about, it's it's about, um, you know, this um, guy named Stan House, and he works at this um, video store. And, um, and basically he has to, like, um, deliver these, um, videos, these, like, porn videos to, um, to this one guy, and, but, you know, would, and he gets a, a ride to a group, with his group of friends, but, you know, they're pissed at him, because first, because they're, they were, their plan was to go to a party, a Halloween party, but, you know, he's got to get, um, you know, these movies delivered first, and, um, and then they, they go to, like, the strange part of town, and, you know, Everyone at this strange part of town, they think that he's Van Helsing. Because every time he says, my name is Stan Helsing, everyone's like, wait, 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 you're, you're Van Helsing? And, you know, and he's like, no, I'm Stan Helsing. But in this movie was always, I always kind of really liked this one. And I remember there was this one scene, and I'm pretty sure that, that they were spoofing this one this one scene in this movie. Because um, there was a scene where, um, when um, it shows like a Michael Myers throwing this body down the pipe, this pipe, and, you know, a group of friends, they end up going down the pipe, and they're finding all the bodies in the pipe, or in, or in the sewer, or whatever, and, you know, I'm, I was, I'm pretty 100% sure that they were basically trying to rip off Jeepers Creepers, that one scene when the creeper dumps the bodies in the, in the sewer uh, of, um, the church, and, you know, they end, what's his name, Justin Long's character ends up finding the, um, the bodies, it was that scene, I think they were I think they were spoofing, trying to spoof Jeepers Creepers. Yeah, but this one I actually really kind of liked. I mean, it's not... I know it's not, not the greatest one, I mean, but it was... I did kind of like it. Alright, now this next one here, I, I did get them watching um, yesterday. I have not seen this one in a long time. I remember um, seeing this movie twice in the theaters, which was Alvin and the Chipmunks here on Blu-ray, the first one. Got to set um, Big Lots for $5.00. Because um, originally I was at Big Lots because I know I just found out that they do um, DVD and Blu-ray um, Black Friday sales, but I was too late for it. So I was like, you know what? This is only $5. I'll just get it for the heck of it. So, um, yeah, but I always really liked, liked this movie. Um, I remember watching it over and over and over again. I remember seeing it twice in the theaters. I do remember, too, when it, when it came out because I was like, 10 maybe 9 when it came out i know i remember it was like it was always that thing it was always you know everyone in the school that i was going to loved the movie everyone wanted to see the movie i remember they were always imitating like the, some of the quotes from this movie you know it was like it was like the the bomb i mean and even the sequel was too um that was also the bomb i think as like you know the when part three and four came out, I don't really think, I don't think they were as popular as the first two was. So, so I'm I'm guessing that now, as that you know, if, when they make these movies, they they're just they're just like a fart out of the wind, you know. I mean, they're just like ah, who cares about them? That's old, you know. But anyway, goes. Anyway, if you guys haven't seen this, it's about um 
um, Jason Lee's character, um, he's like this, um, he's like the songwriter, and, um, and he has this, like, um, this, um, producer named Dave, David Cross's character, you know, he's like, well, I hate your music, why don't you, you need to make better music, like, music that people will like, and, you know, and of course, you know, he throws all this, like, um, music stuff out, because, you know, he's like, I quit all my music and all that stuff. You know, the chipmunks come, and, you know, and this is the first one, so, um, basically, you know, this is the one when, um, Dave and the chipmunks first meet, and, you know, um, and he's basically, well, he's not using them, but he thought, he thinks that because now, um, because they, they're talking chipmunks, and, you know, they can sing, he's, he thinks that maybe he can get paid by having, like, you know, singing chipmunks, because he's like, who's ever heard of singing chipmunks, you know? But, you know, I mean, I don't know, I always really liked this movie. <laughs> there was, but I mean, I did have one problem with this movie, and I always kind of did especially when I first saw it in theaters, it was that ending. It was something about that ending that just, it, it was just so kind of like, I don't know, kind of cheesy-ish. I mean, I don't want to ruin how it ended, but it was just, it was like, it's one of those kind of like endings where you, you think something good is going to happen. It's going to be a good banging ending, but then it just ends up all cheesy-ish and, you know, it just ends up like, I don't know, it's, you would probably get what I'm saying if you guys seen this. You probably get what I'm trying to say because it, because I know like parts two and three. I only seen the fourth one once, which which was when I reviewed it, review it, reviewed it to you guys. God, darn, I'm itching my nose is itchy. But anyway, um, I know parts two and three. They had they had had a very good ending scene in this, but this one, I mean, the ending, the way it ended, it was okay. It just it was like a kind of a shame, because they really could have done more with this ending. Yeah, but I I still kind of like it overall. Alright, now this next one, now the last one for the um, the regular Blu-rays, now this one I just got yesterday in the mail, um, and, I'm, and this is actually my first um, Blu-ray from this company, which is um, the Mother's Day, the, the original Mother's Day here on Blu-ray. Um, as you can tell, this is the UK release um, of uh, Mother's Day, and in case you guys are wondering, because this is a UK release, it is region free, so um, you don't need to get a um, region free player or anything, because you know, um, and I don't have a region free player, so um, I just have a region A player, but, but yeah, but this this will work no problem. And this one I ended up getting on Amazon for $18, and this is the Slasher Classics Collection. Um, now this movie, um, now the reason I got this is an edition from the UK, because I know um, there was a release of this in the US, but I read that it went out of print, and it's worth, because um, the cheapest that they had for the um, the US release of Mother's Day, because it was from the new Anchor Bay, um, that's out of print. And also the DVD from the newer Anchor Bay in the US is out of print, so um, I was really glad I got that, because I remember getting that on DVD in Walmart for five bucks, so. But it was, um, $57, that's the cheapest that they had for the, um, the U.S. release, um, but this one was only $18, so I got it, so, you know, but, hey, why not, but, um, and this took, because I ordered this on, on the 1st of, um, November, and I just got it yesterday, so it took a while, but, you know, you know what, it was worth the wait, um, I just want to show you guys what it looks like before I get to the review, because that's, there's the back right there, there's the side, Comes with this little booklet right here. God darn, my nose is itching. Comes with this little booklet. Um, just talks like you know. Um, it's like a um, what do you call it? Um, interview with the um, with one of the actresses in the movie. Um, what's her name? Um, Nancy Hendr Hendrickson. How she was like you know a screen queen for a while. You know, um, what she liked best about doing doing this movie. But if you hadn't seen the original Mother's Day, this is basically about... Oh, by the way, um, it's got reversal art cover. But it's the same... It's basically the exact same thing. It just doesn't have, you know, the... Slasher Classics collection on, on the top. But anyway, um, but what this movie is basically about... It's, it's about, um... You know, a group of these girls. Um, they reunite ten years later after, you know, they graduated school. They have this, like, re reunion type thing. And they go camping out in the middle of the woods, and 
what ends up happening is there's these like hillbilly like killers, um, which it's these two right here. They end up kidnapping these women, and you know they take them to the um, to their house, this old like abandoned house that's in the middle of the woods. And, you know their mother's there, and the mother basically she likes it when her boys are killing and raping and you know torturing people because she always says this whenever she's proud. Boys, you have made your mother very proud. I don't know. It, this movie was always so weird and bizarre and kind of funny. It's actually a pretty cool horror movie. Um, and this is a Trump, um, Troma release. So, no, it, it was. This was owned by Troma, but now it's from Slasher Classics Collection, or 88 Films now, um, and Anger Bay. But, um, but, you know, and, you know, the girls are kidnapped and, you know, they're basically trying to find a way to survive, because, you know, um, but, I don't know, i always really been a big fan of this movie, it's just, and it's kind of a shame that, you know, that the original release, um, the U.S. release, was, is out of print, so, but you know what, I don't really have to get that now, because I have this on Blu-ray, right? because, you know, usually I don't really like getting stuff from like other countries that already have a blu-ray release in the u.s but you know i mean i guess i'm only going to do that if it's something that's really 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 out of print like this this for example so you know um and what the cool thing is too it's in a, it's in a red case that's what i really like that's also my first case with a different color for a blu-ray you know but um you get a, a little bit more special features than you than what you got on the um on um, the original U.S. release, because it only had like four special features. Like, um, I know it had, I think it had like a commentary. I know the ones that it had, it had like a, um, I think the TV spot and trailer. Um, Eli Roth on Mother's Day, which is him, you know, like he's the director of the Hostel movies, um, movie Clown, Cabin Fever, and it's him talking about how how Mother's Day it's his favorite movie. Um, Charles Kaufman at the, um, what is it, the, um, Comic-Con thing, but yeah, um, I always been a really big fan of this movie, and I'm highly glad that I got this, and it, it really works, so, again, if this is region-free, meaning it'll work in any player, even if you were in, um, Japan, it'll still work, so, yeah. Now, I'm gonna show you guys all the, um, DVDs and Blu-rays I got for the, um, for Black Friday, so, um, I got seven things for Black Friday this year, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started, so, um, <clears throat> so the first one I got here is, um, I got, um, 31 here on Blu-ray, I've never seen this one, so, I don't know if this is any good, um, yeah, but, the, uh, by the way, the rest of these I just got at Walmart, so, but this was, um, uh, five dollars, I mean, all the Blu-rays I got for five dollars and one of and the one DVD I got was 10, so, um, yeah, this is a Rob, Rob Zombie film. I know one of my teachers said that he, he was interested in seeing this, so I don't know, I, I don't know if he did see it or what, but I don't know if this is any good. I, I'm gonna check it out, so I got some blind buys, too, so yeah, thir I got 31. Alright, the next one I got, this is also another blind buy. Now, this wasn't really on my list, but... I just thought to myself, you know what, if I do see this movie in the Black Friday sale, I'm going to get it. I might check it out. Because so I know my mom, my mom watched it. I think she liked it. And it, I don't know, one of the clips I watched this movie, it did kind of seem interesting. Um, so, I'm, you know what, I'll, 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 I'm just going to give it a try, which is the movie Split here on Blu-ray. I know another teacher in, in school one time, she... Um, she always really wanted me to see this movie, so... But, I do have it, miss, so... Here it is. I'm gonna watch it. So, yeah. Um, got the Split. By the way, um, People still has problems with that director and writer. Um, M. Night Shil... Shil... Man, I... I don't know how the hell you say it. Alright, um... Alright, the next one here I got... This movie I only watched once, but I did review about it uh, a couple years ago, which was the movie Pixels. Absolutely love this movie. Um, yep, and finally glad I got this, so uh, five bucks. Alright, now here's the DVD that I got. Um, 
Now, this is actually my first time getting a DVD at, um, on Black Friday, but, um, I'm, I'm really glad I got this now, um, because I always really love the show on, um, Netflix, and it's, you know, Fuller House, the complete first season here on DVD for $10, so, um, yep, it's a pretty cool, good deal. I might watch a couple episodes of these, um, maybe tonight. I'm planning on staying up late, so... Alright, um, here, the next one I got here is, um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Out of the Shadows, another blind buy. Now, this is the only one I have not seen yet. I have the remake, which was an okay movie. I had the first three originals, so now I have all the series, so I have not seen this yet, so I don't really know how good it is, so I'm willing to check this out. Alright, um, then the next one I got, now this one... I'm really glad to get because I really love this movie. My pop up all really loves this movie as well. And this is again another one I reviewed about last year. Um, and also a teacher wanted me to see this, and I do have it, and I did see it before, and I really just loved it. It was it was Sausage Party here on Blu-ray. So yeah, Sausage Party. Um, and the last one I got is um, now this one um, I was planning on getting because I did they did have it in Walmart on, on just their regular sale but you know what I just thought to, to myself you know let me just get it on the Black Friday deal instead and it's you know how the Grinch stole Christmas here on Blu-ray um and I did read about a couple years ago that there are they want to remake this movie and so I don't why in the world would you remake this I mean why it's not even that old. It's, it's only made in... When, when was it made? 2000? Yeah, 2000. So I don't, I don't know who, who can top Jim Carrey off because he was a damn good actor in this one. He, he did pretty damn good in this. I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to see. I don't, haven't heard anything else about it since. So I don't really quite know. I mean, because this was a well-done movie. It was... I don't understand why they would have to remake this thing. Why? But anyway, guys... um. That's all I got for um, this um, DVD and Blu-ray update slash Black Friday haul 2017. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you guys later. Bye.